Hello, this is Dr. Green again with Bokashi Cycle, and we are putting together a machine which we refer to as an offloader that is capable of processing four 55 gallon fermenters in a single step. What's good about this machine is that it provides safety so that one can easily tip and empty 450 gallons of fermented food waste. We can collect the tea that's produced in the fermentation process and then we can remove the pickled fermented material easily and then move it out to the field where it will be tilled and put into place to benefit the soil. The machine is very simple to assemble. We have two triangular support structures that have a spindle that fits onto an axle which you can see in the background. And then we have four offloading devices that are designed to fit each 55 gallon fermenter with a safety strap so that it can be put in place and then easily tipped on the axle. So I'm going to go through the process of how to assemble this and then show how we use it in operation. The other thing that's convenient about the machine is that it, it's completely assembled and put together with only four uh, locking bolts. Uh, two of these are, are spring-loaded pin uh, bolts and the, the other two are regular nuts and bolts that hold together a crossbar that in the down position when the fermenters are being emptied prevents them from leaving that position. It locks them into a, a safe position so they can be left unattended. And this entire machine can be assembled and disassembled by one person. All four barrels can be managed by a single person and it's designed primarily to be used by individuals, farmers, people that have a need to process anywhere from 1 to 12 tons of food waste per month that they would like to rapidly convert to rich nutrients for their soil. Now in addition to the components, everything that you see here, you'll want to have a, a rag handy because you're going to need to wipe any uh, material that uh, needs to be taken care of uh, and removed. Uh, we need a couple of 2x4s and a couple of 5 gallon buckets uh, can be used to support the axle during the assembly process. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You also want to have some heavy duty wheel bearing grease or something equivalent that we can put on the shaft on the spindles that will be sliding over the axle which is a good idea to uh, replace periodically every six months to a year if need be just to keep things working smoothly and to protect the axle from corrosion. So our next step will be the assembly process and we'll walk through that step by step so that you can see how easy it is for a single person to assemble a very useful tool.